Now, I hate to jump the gun, but Sam, he's just looked too good. I think Sam Darnold is kind of in this same situation. He this looks is, shockingly good. He looks shockingly fantastic, and he continued it today. I thought today might be the day that Sam Darnold's wheels fall off a little bit. Mm-hmm. Packers game, Vikings-Packers living up here in Minnesota. I'm all too familiar. This is a rivalry. This is a yeah. huge game for this these two states. They hate each other kind of lovingly, but still, it's a mm-hmm. lot of fun. It's a huge game. I thought the wheels might fall off today, but he looks fantastic, and I'm not sure how you don't pay him. $35 million to stick around next year and not go to J.J. McCarthy. This is a conundrum for me because if I just take if I take the team out of it and say this is the player by himself, the player and his statistics and how he's looked and his talent, he's yeah, he's up there. He's legit and we have to deal with it now. The problem is I think Minnesota is a little annoyed by this. Like we we drafted our guy. I don't know. I don't know how. I think they were kidding themselves into getting excited about JJ McCarthy. I'll be honest. Um, like we drafted our guy first round. We wasted the first round pick on him. You weren't supposed to do this, Sam Darnold. You were supposed to show our young kid the ropes and just get Jacoby Brissett and just get pummeled by defenses all year. You weren't supposed to look like a franchise quarterback. And now he's looking like the guy that we really kind of all thought he was going to be coming out of college. I thought he was a franchise quarterback for the Jets. I really did. And then that stuff of, you know, seeing ghosts out there, I'm like, oh, that's pretty incriminating. That's, you hate, you hate hearing that for our boy. But my goodness, he looks outstanding. And so talent wise, he's there. Situationally, I don't see how a team says we're going to go with this veteran and not play the guy that we wasted a first round pick on. Cuz this is not even a first round pick's being paid a decent amount of money, more than you want a backup to be paid. Either one of these guys is going to be decently overpaid for a backup. The way I see it is like maybe, just maybe. There's no way they would ever do this. But like you may have just lucked into the you may have hit jackpot in the slot machines. Take your money and go. Cash out. See if you can get something on the market for Sam Darnold and go with your rookie if you like that. I wouldn't do that. I'd trade J.J. McCarthy or just say, J.J., you're going to be what we all knew you were going to be in the first place and be a backup. But it's a conundrum in Minnesota, and I don't fully know how it's going to shake out yet. You know, that's a fresh take that I have not heard anybody say, and I think that's a, that might not actually be bad. Is Minnesota kind of mad at Sam Darnold right now for being this good? Yeah. Like, he... He was supposed to be a placeholder, something that could get them seven, eight wins, keep mm-hmm. the fan base happy. Hey, guys, this is a gap year. We got J.J. coming in. J.J.'s yeah. learning a lot this year. But he wasn't supposed to be this. So, yeah, I bet their front office kind of is pulling their hair out, wondering what are we supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Maybe you just make J.J. sit for three or four years. It's kind of a do Jordan you, Love Jordan situation. Love yep. And you let... Sam Darnold, you give him a three-year, $90 million, fully guaranteed yeah. type contract yeah. to have him for the next three years after this one. But that that's a funny take, and I think that might not necessarily be incorrect with Sam Darnold. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. been fantastic. No, he's been you, – you can't, you can't turn your back on this type of production. Eight touchdowns, two interceptions. And I think that was coming into today. He added three more touchdowns. Yeah. He's had 11 touchdowns. Four three, interceptions, I think, now. Three interceptions. Yeah, three more touchdowns. Another pick today. Jordan Addison's first game back. Addison had a rushing touchdown and a receiving touchdown to go along with 72 yards. He was great. This offense is rolling. TJ Hawkinson is still on ice, getting yeah. better. This offense is only going to get better. This run game is legit. O'Connell is just absolutely scheming everything up to perfection. And again, Brian Flores got this defense rocking. I know the Packers came back, but it is tough to keep your foot on the gas for a whole game whenever you're up by that many points, especially defensively. Yeah, And Jordan Love went off uh, yardage-wise, but three interceptions. I mean, that defense is still making him uncomfortable. Right. First game back for Jordan Love after an MCL sprain. He wasn't going to be fantastic. Minnesota dials up all sorts of exotic blitz looks, you know, all over the place. Tough game to come back into. Sam Darnold or Baker Mayfield? Uh, 
Baker Mayfield because I think I've seen him do it just a little bit more. Seen him do just a little bit more, but two more weeks and I think that's switching.